In this video I'm going to show you how you uh, restart a panto after a shutdown. So here on my little quilt I've finished two rows of this pantograph but I'm going to shut down now because I don't have enough time to finish it. So up at the screen now I've got to the end of my row. I'm not going to realign, I'm just going to shut down. So I'm going to hit the back button. I'm going to hit the back button again. And now I've got this important message which says, do you want to save the current needle position? Yes, I do. Okay, there's my stitching sequence. I'm not going to do anything there. I'm just going to hit the back button. Hit the back button and then system shut down. And now IQ will shut down and we'll pause a bit and then we'll start up again. Okay, I'm ready to work on my quilt again now. It's the next day. So the first thing I've done is I've actually advanced my quilt. I've advanced my quilt so that I can just see the bottom of the next, uh, um, the bottom of the last row that I stitched. It's all ready to start stitching. I've also started up IQ. So here we are at the main menu. I'm going to go design, sew, quilt, edit, sew, existing. And here's the quilt I'm working on, work in progress. Select that one, touch continue. Now, um, let's look up here at my whole quilt. Up here is a little red target. That's the position where my needle was when I shut down my IQ and I told it that I wanted to save the needle position. So that little red target is telling me that's the end of the row uh, that I just stitched. Um, it was the last thing I did. So that's telling me, uh, now I know I've stitched one, two rows and this will be the next row to stitch. Okay, so that little target is important. Now it says touch a reference point on the screen. I've got to align um, IQ so it knows where the quilt is because we've just started up and it doesn't know anything yet. So I'm looking at my the row that I've just stitched, which is this one, and I'm going to choose the third bell to realign to. So this one here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom way in. I'm going to choose that point to realign to. Continue. And it says move the needle to the reference point. So I'm looking on my quilt now and I'm counting one, two, three bells. It's this one here. Okay. I've moved the needle to the reference point. So I'm hitting OK. Okay. Now IQ knows where it is, uh, where the quilt is and everything. So now I can go to sew quilt. Okay, there's all my stitching sequence. Now there, every row is green, so it looks like I haven't stitched anything, but I know I have, and IQ knows I have, so all I'm going to do here is hit Sew Quilt. And it's moving to the start point of the row. But it's moving in the wrong direction. I want it to move to the left. It's going to go back over there to the end of that row because it wants me to cut the threads there before it moves over here. Because it's moving in the wrong direction, I'm just going to hit restart. I paused it and I'm going to hit restart. It says move the needle to the restart location. So I'm now going to move the machine over to the start of the next row. And I can see where that is because I'm watching for the S3 right there. S3. Okay, that's the start. I'm looking down at my quilt. It's a little bit inside the edge of the quilt. I think that'll be all right. This quilt obviously isn't quite square. So I'm going to hit OK. It's doing its single stitch. I'm bringing it up. Now, can you just zoom in on this? Okay, this is where it started and it's a little bit inside the edge of the quilt. If you don't like that, then it's simply at this point a question of hitting realign um, zoom in to the start of that third row, which is there. Let's pan over. 
okay, which is there. That's already marked, so I don't need to touch, uh, choose a reference point because I like the one it's got. Continue. Now I'm just going to move my machine over to the left a little bit so it's off the quilt. Hit OK. And that's now the new start point. Now, can you come back up to the screen? Okay, let's go zoom full. Notice now IQ is showing the two rows I've already stitched as red. So it's remembered those have been stitched and it's starting on the third row. Okay, so I hope that'll help. That's what you do when you have to shut down and start up the next day.